Hi guys, what's up? And welcome to another game of Alice the Madness Returns with this channel, CNSKX, not KX. Do you know, I looked up our, um, the name, our channel's name earlier and realised that CNSX actually stands for Canadian Stock Exchange. I thought that would be mildly interesting for you guys. Um, I'm right now in... While watching over our game, I'm in Xbox Live Chat with my friend Matt who you probably won't be able to hear because I hear him through my speakers. I'm just going to pause for a while while this plays through. I like that, just tapping Alice, uh, the Mad Hatter's hat as if it's a finishing touch to his clothes. A new man, or whatever I am, I feel like an unsprung spring, like an uncorroded gear, like an untarnished bit of metal that sticks in your eye. Answer me, Hatter. I'm suffering, and changes here are a cause, or they're a reflection, or the effect. What's going on? What are the new rules? The law is just, just a whisper away, away home to wonder, wonder who. Who knows how to measure rules? With a ruler! Cruel rules. Mm. Idiot. I should have left you in bits. Come. The least you can do is help me discover what's going on. Kidnapping. As I was saying, I'm Cameron, also known as C-Note, and I'll be bringing through you through this, yet another part of the first chapter. In case any of you guys are actually worrying, um, I, the other three, or the other two players will get involved, but that's when we reach their respective chapters. For the moment being, you got me. So no worries, huh? Isn't that pretty? Yeah, another one of our legendary pigs that hides a secret treasure. We may get fat of all this. Oh. We may get fat of all this lovely treasure that we're gathering up. All these golden teeth. I do enjoy this game. Is that. Ah, so we get to be of the hatter. Enthusiasm for photography makes the label smell like rutted fruit. I'm certain these solutions are toxic. You'll learn something new. Landing in the toxic waste seemingly hurts you. A little touch of corruption. Now I'm wondering where exactly we are. This this is obviously the assemblage of destruction. It must be that place. Man, I wish we could have played as the Mad Hatter instead. He looks like he's got some power. He's got some Usain Bolt legs. And he's got some... He just, he's just proper tool, let's just be honest. He's a big guy. And he's got some very interesting to talk. Well, do you know, you can use the bombs as a distraction. I suppose most people would be distracted by a little rabbit making sounds if you've never seen one before. Especially if it pops out of a hat. Rabbit pop out of a hat. Magic joke all this time, never even realised it. Alright, let's get this stuff moving. I haven't seen no giant thing yet, so I think we're I think it's clear that we're not gonna run into one anytime soon. Yeah, we're cool. No, I guess that's not one of those turny things. Guess I have to see how this whole thing works out. Oh, jeez. Quite an epic battle scene there. 
Dodging little meteorite throws. Kind of reminds me of a monk bike with those um, exhaust pipes. Oh, they must be exhaust pipes in his back. Well, they look like they're on nitro. A bit ahead of his time, I think. Alice is a woman of the future. Can't shoot him in the back and get damage from that. Yes, that is why holding your ground is occasionally good. That that just defines defends the point of when you have a screwdriver and you think, right, I need to get this thing fixed. You just you just stick a screwdriver in it, shake it about a bit. With this is with electrical appliances, you should probably turn them off first. You know, not to dive an electric shock. And then you reel it about a bit. Sometimes the machine actually works. Most of the time it breaks. But what can you do? So like, have you ever heard the saying, Irish screwdriver? This feels like an earthquake. What's happening? I really look like I know. Your judgment must be severely impaired. At least the Mad Hat has some sensible sayings. Why are you asking him for his opinion? He's mad. When has an insane guy known more than half of what was going on? Okay, looks like we need to get over there. And I think we know how. I see a, I see a jumping mushroom. I'd also like to know if any of these cages are open and there's secret treasure inside. No? Let's keep going with this journey then, huh? What's a rabbit got to do with this? So I'm assuming... Since it's hinting the hairs there, we may encounter the hair soon enough. Ah, uh, who put that ledge there? You no, know, they thought well, I was going to go small. They never realised I would use my superior intelligence to go around. Now, that's a shame. Little me is not indicating any hidden treasure still. And hidden treasure is very important. Now I can only assume what needs to be done here is activate yet another clock face. It looks like it's starting to get more challenging though now. River, oh, the mouse is involved. And it's suggesting there's a death trap soon up ahead. Aha, keyhole. The little mouse holes that run everywhere. Key to different areas. Ah, nice. The longer you play, Alice, the more you can understand the developer's thinkings. So, that pile of rubble is where who is? It, you, no, the hat is clearly not in that pile of rubble. Can't be. Well, there's nothing else around here. Go and check back there if there's anything we missed. Always check your, as I said before, check your corners. It's the safest option. Nothing around. Let's get back to let's get back to this business we're working on. Aha, more teeth. I think I may mention a little bit of the backstory of Alice in Wonderland. You know, not in not in a spoken thing. It'll take it'll take too long to talk about the background, so let's just put it that way, yeah. Alright, there's a lever over there, don't know don't quite know why they allowed me a hallway I can't even use. Not even with explosives. Let's get this gear into shift. There we are, first gear, door open. I don't know if that was being kind there or if he's just being generally, you know, a dummy. Whoa. That must be this thing that's taking corruption everywhere. It looks a lot like the Houses of Parliament. I wonder if I can see Big Ben. Are those two quaking? What are they up to? You'll never stop us, silly Hatter and Alice. 
It's left. You're too the late. Insolent, the insolent, the arrogance, the execrable table manners. They are destroyers of Wonderland. Defilers, denuders, derangers. Delightful. It's present. Did they actually create that infernal train to destroy Wonderland? What does that matter? They deserve to die. Ah, put me down this instant. I ought to fail. I had to fell for a trap Back like that. In time, Missy. Oh, that doesn't sound too good. Abandon false hope. Forget the past. The damage is done. <laughs> Let the madness begin. Scottish this rabbit with a uh, Welsh, whatever. That's one of the three in the corner, by the way. Oh, that looks dangerous. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a proper hectic boss fight. That has got to be the easiest boss fight I have had in a while. The Hatter strikes again. Oh, my precious dream. And the guests. All I really wanted was another tea party. Please, Hatter, you promised. Where is that train going? What's its purpose? Tell me. Now. No time for whatever it is you want to talk about. It's time for tea. Talk treats with Turkey. He ran the looking glass line. <coughs> Come on, you lot. We can still be friends. We've got a fine Darjeeli. Drink, drink. <laughs> My memories are shattered. I'm trying to collect the pieces, and I now believe the train impedes me. You must help me. You promised. Ask the one who helps them what helps themselves, whoever that is. Very pity. He deserved to die. And I'm about to drown in tea in ignorance. Hatter! No! How can you say that, Alice? He at least helped you get that far.